Hello everyone, my name is Kamran Awasi. I work for the Linux Hint and today I'm gonna tell you that what a day looks like in the life of a Linux Mint user. So come on and let's start our day. I usually start my day with a cup of coffee, so let's make a cup of coffee. Previously, I was a Windows user, so before joining the Linux Hint, I was not using the Linux based operating system. So, when I joined the Linux Hint and I was appointed as an employee, so I was confused to choose about the Linux based operating system that what Linux based operating system should I choose? I read a couple of uh, reviews of people over the internet and they were stating that if you are a new Linux user, then Linux Mint is the best choice for you to get started with. So I downloaded the Linux Mint, I installed it. Uh, it, it was pretty awesome, it was the very nice experience of using the Linux Mint because its uh, user interface is really awesome, it resembled with the Microsoft Windows user interface. If I talk about in terms of efficiency of the Linux Mint, it is so much efficient, it is powerful, you can easily run any command on the terminal, you can perform any operation. You can write articles, you can record videos, and you can update your programs by using the terminal as well. We are working on the bash scripting as well. So I write my bash scripts on the Linux Mint. We can easily execute the bash scripts on the Linux Mint terminal. The terminal, most of the people say that the terminal is the scary part of the Linux Mint because you have to write a lot of commands, you have to write a lot of uh, words on the Linux Mint to perform your task but once you are familiar with the terminal of the Linux Mint you will find it very easy because it is very simple to use the things that you do with the user interface like uh, if you have to update your repository cache then you have to perform multiple clicks on your screen but with the terminal it is very easy you just have to write a command on the terminal sudo apt update and it will update your apt repository cache i write articles and make tutorial videos for the linux Mint. i use linux mint for article writing and for making tutorial videos before writing the articles i do research on my topic I read about the topic from different sources over the internet. I choose Mozilla Firefox browser for this purpose. After reading about my topic, then I write a perfect article in easy way so that our audience can grab the concept of the topic easily. So first I write the article and after that I make the tutorial video for that. Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Hint. In this video we are going to talk about the Python Hello World program. This video explains that how you can print the hello world in Python. I will cover the Python 2 and Python 3 syntax for printing the hello world on your Python console. So alright, this is my Linux Mint uh, Python 3 interactive shell. I have to print here the hello world. The syntax of the Python 3 is a bit different with the syntax of the Python 2. Whenever you choose the print function in Python 2, there is no need to put the parentheses. But uh, when you are using the Python 3, then you have to write the practices with your print function as well. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started and let's see that how we can print the hello world in Python 3. This is my Python interactive shell. I'm gonna write here my program print. Then I have put the parentheses here and uh, hello world. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. Keep visiting our website linuxin.com for more useful videos like this. Thank you. So that was my whole day. Linux Mint helps me a lot to perform my personal task as well as the professional task. If you are a new Linux user or if you want to move to the Linux based operating systems, then I will recommend you to check out the Linux Mint. It is there for you. It is very powerful, interactive and the simplest to use Linux based operating system. So thank you so much. Have a good day.